Hey everyone, in this brief video I'm going to talk about how you can add new words to your Aculips dictionary so that you can have a more complete collection of words which will lead to more accurate future lip syncing. Let's start off by creating a new Aculips script. In this case, I'm going to use the text to speech option and paste a little monologue I have prepared from my clipboard. You'll have your standard text to speech options such as voice mode, audio quality, volume, pitch, and speed. You can click on Hear It to get a little sample of what it will sound like. Slow deep breaths, your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You are alive and well. Next, let's just press OK. If there are words in your script that are not contained within your current dictionary, then a window will pop up notifying you of this. We're going to add these words to our dictionary manually in just a moment, so for now we'll select No. You'll see the words cortisol, adrenaline, and blockers are in red, indicating that these are words that are not present in your dictionary. For now, let's just go ahead and apply through our timeline. You'll see the script is now applied to the timeline, and each word is blocked out and aligned nicely. You can play back to see the results. Slow deep breaths, your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You are alive and well. The first word in red is cortisol, which will be the first to add to our dictionary. To do so, simply right-click the wavelength in the voice track and then select Add to Dictionary. Once you do so, a window will pop up that shows the words spelled out phonetically with a succession of visemes. You can simply save this, and then the word in the timeline will now turn green as it has been added to your dictionary. Let's do the same for the next word, adrenaline, and again for blockers. Both seem to look okay in terms of the phonetic spelling. Once we're done that, we can take a look at these new entries in our dictionary. The dictionary can be found in your preferences under the dictionary section. If you've added words to it, then it will automatically show as a custom dictionary type. It's saved as a special DICT file, and if you select Find File, you'll be able to open it up to check your new entries. You can see that we've already added thousands of entries into the default dictionary. Let's use the Control F function to find the word cortisol. You'll see it listed along with the Visine transcription right beside it, which will be used as a reference every time this word is seen as text in your script. If for any reason you want to go back to the default dictionary, you can do so by clicking on the Reset to Default Dictionary button in the Preferences. One final tip. You'll notice in the timeline that each word is made up of a collection of Visim keys, just like we saw earlier in the Add to Dictionary window. You can also edit the Visims for a particular word and save the updated version to your dictionary. In this case, I'm deleting the O Visim in the word Hormone as an example. In order to update, simply right-click on the wavelength after you've made the edit and select Add to Dictionary. This will pop up with a window showing you the old and new versions with their respective visemes. That's about all there is to adding new words and creating a custom dictionary. Pretty easy, right? Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to check out our other Aculips tutorials as well as our forums over at forum.reillusion.com and I'll see you in the next video.